welcome to math cafe enjoy math sit by sit welcome back to case study questions and in this particular video we are going to see questions from the chapter application of derivatives and particularly based on the concepts maxima and minima and the question is here the mr sam has started a pastry and cake shop to support his family after completing his graduation his aim and vision are to provide quality confectionery items with the healthy ingredients at affordable price he has taken additional measures to confirm that the products high quality and satisfy the customers the production team has assured sam that excellence of the items will not be compromised for the sake of profit now he needs to take decision to reduce the expense on packaging and handling charges he has approached different packaging companies for a reasonable price for the boxes the following is one of the option he has received that's part of the story but the main question is here a square piece of sheet of side 18 cm is to be made into a box without top by cutting a square from each corner and folding up the flaps to form a box now we have the first question here if x be the side of the square to be cut off then total area of the box now when it is a box you need to think about what could be the dimensions of the box the length breadth as well as height that's what we need to get to know before going for the surface area of the box as you can see here we are cutting off squares of side x unit from each corner and obviously as it is 18 cm the whole length and you are removing 2x from either side the length is going to be 18 minus 2x that's very clear and at the same time the breadth also going to be the same as breadth as well as 18 and we are cutting off 2x from either side now you know that as we are folding along the dotted lines the height is going to be clearly this length of the square cut off so this is equal to x now don't rush usually you must be seeing the question with the volume of this one that's why you will be rushing for volume generally but you make it sure here the question first part is written as area of the box now what could be area of the box you know that the base area is length into breadth and both are 18 minus 2x so you are getting 18 minus 2x into 18 minus 2x or i am writing whole square but that's what the way the options are given always look for the options don't rush to the answers now the other side see here 18 minus 2x and the height is h like four sides will be there so this will be 4 into x into 18 minus 2x or if you have a doubt you can just visualize you are sitting in a square room and this the floor has length 18 minus 2x and breadth also 18 minus 2x and all the sides are h clear you will get 4 into x into 18 minus 2x look for the option and this is the option b that's the first answer the area of the open box is base area plus area of the four walls that's what we got it let us check what could be the second question and the volume of the box that's one of the easiest option you can get it volume of the box will be what length into breadth into height and as you have seen already in the previous answer you can just continue from there 18 minus 2x into 18 minus 2x that's going to be whole square and there is an x that is the height is x so we got the answer 18 minus 2x the whole square into x that the second option if you have written the first steps clearly the second also you got easily let us go the third question the maximum volume of the box here comes the main idea of the question the maximization you cannot get the maximum volume without doing the main steps what the main step yes you guess it you need to differentiate the volume first and equate to the zero to understand where the maximum or minimum occurs so we will start with the volume idea we have already written as 18 minus 2x whole square into x that's what you wrote in the previous step continue from there differentiating this is 1x and another x clearly we must use the product rule first function into derivative of second that is 1 plus second function into derivative of this is 18 minus 2x whole square so it is 2 into 18 minus 2x into derivative of 18 minus 2x is minus 2 please here and all there's a common tend to expand and differentiate never do that you need to understand your maximum or minimum will occur wherever first derivative is zero if you expand in the beginning you are unnecessarily wasting time because if you observe here you can see 18 minus 2x is common take it out you can easily factorize so what is left here 18 minus 2x and here 2x into minus 2 that is what minus 4x or this is 18 minus 2x into 18 Minus 6x, and you know that for maxima or minima at a critical point or it is a turning point, the first derivative must be zero, 
and dv by dx is equal to 0 will give you 18 equal to 2x or 18 equal to 6x that gives x is equal to 9 x is equal to 3 and you can easily discard this number because it will never work if x is equal to 9 you will not have a square there will be no box left it will be everything cut off so x could be 3 now what is the volume substitute back this volume is 18 minus 2 3s are 6 whole square into 3 18 minus 6 is 12 12 square into 3 144 into 3 that is equal to 432 centimeter cube you have done the main part of the question and you got the volume as 432 centimeter cube and this is the main thing please keep in mind here and all never expand and waste your time let us see the fourth part of the question the volume of the box is minimum when the length of the square cutoff is actually this we have already seen in the previous part of the answer we have already got it as what x is equal to 3 and as you know that x cannot be 9 if it is 9 what will happen you are cutting off from 9 and 9 and from all the corners so nothing will be left over the answer is what x is equal to 3 centimeters that is what is our answer let us consider the fifth part of the question if the cost of material used is 50 paise per square centimeter then total cost of the box form and we know the total cost of the box as we calculate in the first part it is 18 minus 2x the whole square that the base area and 4x into 18 minus 2x that the area of the side and we have already seen that this happens when x is equal to 3 so this is 18 minus 2 into 3 6 so 18 minus 6 will become what 12 whole square plus here 4 into 3 12 and 18 minus 2 into 3 again that also 12 and the cost is 50 by say square centimeter so you can say half into 144 which is 12 square and again here also another 144 so 144 144 twice and this is becoming what 144 rupees that is our final answer always check the questions clearly and then move forward that will be easier let us consider one more question from the same chapter application of derivatives and this is here a soldier is hiding at a point 32 and observing the movements of the enemy jet he identifies it to be a parabolic path symmetric with y axis and vertex at 0 to having equation as y is equal to x square plus a now the first question is the value of a in the equation of the path y equal to x square plus a as it is mentioned it is says that it is symmetric with the y axis and vertex is at a point 0 comma 2 and you know that if it is 0 comma 2 definitely the curve will be passing through 0 comma 2 that means when x is equal to 0 y is going to be 2 so substitute in the equation that will give you what 2 equal to 0 plus a or a equal to 2 so that's what the first answer and here you need to remember one more thing so this gives the idea our curve is changing as y is equal to x square plus 2 and for the further calculations never use x square plus a and immediately you should take x square plus 2 as the curve that is y is equal to x square plus 2 let us go to the second question distance of jet from any point on path at a given time from soldier is and here i assume that this p x y b any point on the curve at a given time soldier is already at the point a 3 comma 2 now we want to get the distance a p and the shortest distance must be the perpendicular distance and that is the distance between the two points which have learned x minus 3 the whole square plus y minus 2 the whole square and that is option c let us see the third question the expression for distance in terms of x only and you remember we have already got y is equal to x square plus 2 and we need to replace in that equation so we have got it here x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square that was our distance and now we need to change the y variable as x square plus 2 so it is x square plus 2 minus 2 the whole square 2 to get cancelled so this is going to be what x minus 3 whole square x square square is x to the power 4 that is option c x minus 3 whole square plus x to the power 4 then the fourth option the value of x such that the distance between jet and the soldier is least so we need to get the value of x for which the minimum occurs we have already written d equal to c x minus 3 whole square plus x to the power 4 now you need to differentiate and equate to 0 to get the minimum point now the best thing whenever the radicals comes like this way do not differentiate directly from here it will make a bigger calculations to avoid that we just square it so d square is x minus 3 whole square plus x to the power 4 and you know that if the distance is minimum the square also will be minimum so you can just say this is an f of x say 
and this enrolled not necessary to write for an objective question this i am explaining in view of if it comes as a five marker question in the board exam now when you are differentiating this f dash x will be 2 into x minus 3 plus 4 x cube or this is 4 x cube plus 2 x minus 6 and you can take this as 2 into 2 x cube plus x minus 3 and you get this with the 0 f dash x equal to 0 will give you what 2 x cube plus x minus 3 equal to 0 when it is a cubic polynomial you should know that how to find the zeros of that polynomial usually we use the trial and error method 2x cube plus x minus 3 equal to 0 when x is equal to 1 this will give you 2 plus 1 3 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 will be one of the zeros and as options are given as x is equal to 1 you cannot jump into conclusion x could be 1 as the solution it is always better to cross check whether we can have any other possible solution or not 2x cube plus x minus 3 equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 is a solution how to get the remaining zero you need to divide this polynomial with x minus 1 and i will be showing an easy and a shortcut method called the synthetic division you write the coefficients in the decreasing powers of order x cube coefficient is 2 coefficient of x cube 2 coefficient of x square 0 coefficient of x is 1 and constant is 3 that's the way you write the numbers and we got 1 as a solution already or 1 as a 0. First number will be always the same number you take it down. 2 1s are 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. Usually we subtract when you divide. And in this particular case we generally add. Now 2 1s are 2 and 2 plus 1 is 3. And 3 1s are 3 so plus 3. Now you add both you will get 0. Last column will be always the remainder. And as x is equal to 1 is a solution. You must get the remainder as 0 if you are not getting it means you are wrong i will come back this f dash x is going to be x minus 1 into 2x square plus 2x plus 3 and for this particular equation quadratic polynomial if you check the discriminant you will get less than 0 that means there is no possible solution and as it is mcq and you know that this question if you have already seen you don't want to do all this part you can just conclude that x is equal to 1 is the solution I have shown all the detailed answer anticipating it may come as a 5 marker. Otherwise, you can just stop here. X is equal to 1. That is our answer. Now, the last part of the question. What could be the minimum distance? Again, for the minimum distance as well. You remember, we have already made an equation here. For the minimum distance as x minus 3 whole square plus x square whole square. And you know that it is 1 now. 1 minus 3 square plus this is what? 1 raised to 4. Everything under the root. 1 minus 3 minus 2 square plus 1 this is 4 plus 1 this is root 5 let us see whether this answer is there or not yes first option root 5 units that is what is your answer and for all these questions what you have to keep in mind is that there is a common procedure the maxima minima practical application questions that's what we have seen in this video let us see more questions in the coming sessions thank you for watching math cafe hope you enjoy the session please like share and subscribe and please be tuned in for more case study questions. Thank you.